Nanotechnology can transform medicine. What it allows you to do is to build a more complex system to address a really complex problem. Right now we're limited in terms of the therapeutics that we can develop, but there's a whole new window that's been opened using nanotechnology to address these really critical needs. Endoaxone was founded in 2023, and the aim for Endoaxone was to translate discoveries we made here in the lab through to the clinic. What we figured out is we could deliver these nanomaterials really quickly, and then we went to clinicians and asked them what challenges they had. What they told us is that insulin could be something that only could be given by injection, and if we can make it orally available, we could really revolutionise healthcare. The A1 is a new formulation of insulin. It differs from the standard insulin in that it's taken orally as a pill rather than as an injectable. Now, obviously that offers advantages in terms of the convenience and avoiding the pain of needles, but the other key advantage of EA1 being orally delivered is that it goes straight to the liver. And this really mimics how insulin is released in the body. Now with EA1, because this insulin is constantly going to the liver rather than other tissues around the body, it means you've got a big enough reserve of glycogen in the liver. And this means that the body is much less likely to undergo a hypoglycemic event. These patients will be able to maintain their blood glucose levels. Orally delivered insulin has sort of been the holy grail of the field for some decades. People have tried this over and over again. The key rate limiting factor here is the bioavailability of that orally delivered insulin. Previously, you've had to deliver such huge quantities of insulin that it just hasn't been economically viable. It becomes a really expensive approach. Here, we've improved the bioavailability to the point where you can bring down the costs of this material. And so this should make a big difference to patients and to insurers for a cheaper orally bioavailable insulin therapy. EA200 shows great promise for preventing the progression of type 1 diabetes in susceptible individuals. Type 1 diabetes, or T1D, is a autoimmune disease. EA200 is an immune modulation molecule rather than an immune suppression molecule and tells the body that it doesn't need to respond by having an autoimmune response which kills the islets of the pancreas. It tells your body to accept a molecule rather than defending against it in the way that immune suppression does. Immune suppression works by shutting the whole immune system down and makes you susceptible to other diseases. The way we have designed EA200 means that this technology and this mechanism can be used to try and prevent all sorts of autoimmune diseases and this is something that we're actively pursuing in the lab at the moment. What makes EA100 and EA200 so unique is very much the way that they're delivered to the liver directly. So they both manage to get past the stomach by its unique nanotechnology uh, delivery system. And so I'm really excited about that uh, when we're bringing it into clinical trials because it's an oral delivery. And so that's much more attractive to people who are volunteering for healthy volunteer studies, but also for patients who are living with type one diabetes. The four clinical trials that I'm currently working on, uh, we've got two for each of the two products. So for EA100, we're about to start our phase 1A study. We're going to test the safety, the tolerability, and also the efficacy of it. But we also have for our three other clinical trials, we've got the phase 1A in our EA200. We're looking forward to starting that up early next year. These technologies are also very unique in that they're an Australian invention and they're also being uh, manufactured in Australia and now we're trialling them in Australia as well through the CTN pathway. And that pathway is very much uh, an expedited pathway. So we're going to get these clinical trials up and running very quickly, much more quickly than we would if we were in say the US or Europe. So that's a really great benefit to Australia and Australian research. Australia is the perfect place to develop these treatments because we have an amazing clinical trial set up. What we also have is a really empowered group of people and particularly our diabetic population that want to be a part of building these discoveries. They see how we can actually take this technology and improve their quality of life and it's amazing to have that group as part of this journey. When building Endoaxium, we were very fortunate to do it in partnership with the University of Sydney the Sydney Local Health District, and a networked, integrated approach that brought them on as stakeholders and partners. So what Dr. Nick Hunt and his co-founders have done has built an ecosystem all throughout Sydney working together on this enterprise. With our smart insulin and inverse vaccine, we've been able to tap the resources of the entire community, and they've been very celebrated for doing so.
They have built an enterprise that's built to scale, that's built to take advantage of all the amazing opportunities that only Australia can offer, but with an eye towards the United States and other global markets. So for this year, one of our major goals as we head overseas is to deepen those partnerships with the right sort of pharmaceutical partners and models that fit their approach to distribution. We've been working on this technology for 10 years. We finally, this year, get to find out if it works in a diabetic patient. If we can have effect, the ultimate aim one day is for people to have a reduced impact for diabetes in their life. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.